The Northern Hemisphere is not exempt from speculative paleocontinents. Some of them are even not named Atlantis. Darwin and Hooker both observed that 19th century paleobiogeographers were very prone to explaining any inconvenient floral or faunal distribution with land bridges. Uh, they said that they would raise whole continents only to quite recklessly sink them again. Some of these names are still in use, Baltica, Angara, and Cathasia, but most of them aren't, like Gobia, Tibetia, or Tyrannus, which are pretty self-explanatory. Nearctis and Palearctis correspond to the eponymous modern biogeographic regions. Iria took me a minute. It's Iri as in Lake Iri. Archiboreus, as you can probably guess from the name, is another of von Jering's, as were these Pacific land bridges. Pasila, connecting Central America and the Caribbean to Hawaii and the Marshall Islands, and or Archigalenus, which extends that whole assembly up to the Kamchatka Peninsula. The actual situation is that Laurentia split from Eurasia and the Atlantic opened, with large areas of both indeed underwater at times, but Thixis geologists couldn't account for the violent collision of Africa with Europe or India with Asia because they were working from a fundamentally different concept of how mountains are built. 